welcome to another What's Up Wednesday. Like always, we want to thank all of our Patreons, especially Pavel M and Steven Q. And with that being said, what is going on with you this week? Oh my goodness. So, this was the weekend of D&D. Or RPGs, I should say. Because I played 16 and a half hours of RPGs this past weekend within a 36 hour period. 48 hour period, I should say. Yeah, yeah you're actually uh, I double checked your math. You did? Yeah. On your fingers? You did on fingers. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. So that's pretty much all I've been able to think of or do. Well, or let's, 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 let's rewind a little bit. Yes. It all started Friday with yeah. my second official Starfinder. Third. Third official. Yeah. But this was the start of the official adventure path. Correct. Right? That's so. what I started there. So let's 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 break it down. Okay. Honestly, this was my third time GMing. The first time, not so good. No, it's fine. Fine. It was fine. What's fine? Give if, if I had to get a grade, what would I get? Be honest, my feelings won't get hurt. I they might shed a tear. I totally get hurt, so oh. I'm gonna be nice. No, 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 bring it on, bring yeah, it on. I was gonna say that I would give it a B minus. Wow, I honestly would give myself a C minus the first time. Wow, really? It was, it was bad, it was bad. All right, all right. I didn't get enough Five? checks in. I, no, I mean, now that, now that I've said that, what would you really give me? Don't worry. Maybe a C plus. Wow. She really wants to give me a D plus. No, that's, that's not hearing. true at all. That's Eric did hearing. a really wonderful job on his first time. No, 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 no. I didn't. I didn't. It's okay. Oh, my it word. was my first time. I didn't do enough checks. All right. Yes. So you said, all right, like, I'll be honest now. No, I, I agree with you. That was the issue. You didn't do enough checks. I didn't go into, D I didn't, like, visually you didn't build. Paint a picture with your words. Correct. And it's okay. It's all right. I, I want the harsh criticism. Yeah. It's okay. We also didn't have any music for our first two games. There was no background noise. So we ended up actually just putting music on in the background. It's amazing how a soundscape can really change how something mm. is. So Eric actually used a soundscape for part. Sirenscape. Of yeah, but a soundscape is a background sure, music. Sure, but to be the, specific, the but program that once you again, that's for the was, third one. Was the our, second one, you got a little bit better. A little bit better, a little bit. So I went from a what did I say? A C minus before? Yeah. To a C. Okay. A little bit. I personally, and I need you to be honest. Yeah. I feel like I was a B the last time. Uh yeah. B minus? You thinking? I would give it a solid B. Yeah, Just I... Just because, you know, there's still room for improvement. You did a really good job. Your voices were fantastic, which is something that is can be very hard. I don't know if there were... There, there was one character. Yes, Mama Fat. Mama awesome. Fat. She was a heavy smoker, so she talked like this. Eric was very good at that voice, apparently. <laughs> I don't know what that says about him. Um, but yes, no, you did a great job. It was very, and it was the first time we finally started gelling as a group, so I think that helped a lot. There was a bunch more role playing. Eric got to use the digital You guys match. were awful like, it was really with good. the first two. It's party time, let's yeah. party! So it's the party first, time. The first they two we- They don't know, they don't wanna know. I'm just saying, the first two were from uh, the commencement, which is kind of like an early- It's a it's a feel it out, get, getting started right. camp, uh, little mini uh, encounter. So now there. we're doing the, the uh, Dead Sons Adventure Path. Mm -hmm. We're about a quarter, no, a third of the way in. Um, okay. Yeah, we're a third of the way in. And it was, I felt better. I felt like I was doing a lot more checks. I was doing a couple more voices. I used Sirenscape to, to build yeah. an atmosphere. I felt better. I did feel a lot better with it. So you felt good coming out of it? I felt... Like I was learning how to be Good. a GM slash DM. Good job. Um, it's it's challenging. It really is challenging. Now do it for you like it. Thirteen hours. No, of time. you enjoy it. You enjoy <laughs> it. I do. It's like one of my favorite things to do. Um. So that was Friday. Saturday we played in your campaign. Yes, and I want to say before we continue with the D and D talk because I can talk about that all day. Uh, got up on Saturday morning and I ran six miles. I just want to put out there, it was a really good six miles. I don't know who she is right now. I don't know. It was really stupid. Is this like invasion no, of the body No, yeah, absolutely. You're, you're not. Absolutely. You're not I ran really... six six miles 
I did it in an hour and 13 minutes. I'm very happy with my overall time. Um, it was a good run and it set me up because then afterwards we played D and D for nine hours. So, Hey, it's a good trade off one hour for nine. hours. It was a good game. Uh, I don't think you DM'd very much. It was, they role played for the first five hours. Wow. Guys. It was a lot of, it was a lot of role playing. Legitimately. I had planned a very complex dungeon for them to go through because I want, do them, it. I want them to get a little bit further. We'll talk about this more tomorrow on, uh, behind the screen. Uh, and I'll talk about player expectations versus DM expectations and how the actual gameplay works. I just well, figured out my topic for tomorrow. The other thing is this for behind the screen. The what? other thing was you DM'd for the first time for a group of brand new D&D right, &D so players. So Eric's jumping ahead. On, so is this for tomorrow's video? No, I just... You're very slowly trying to get through this weekend. I was just going to do a little quick little overview. But yeah, so we played on Saturday for nine hours. They yep. made they made good progression character building wise. Um, not so much progression story building wise. But we got a little bit of stuff done. Sure. Um, and then Sunday got up and I actually had a crew of four guys who've actually never played D&D &D before or if they did it was a very 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 long time ago. I think Andrew's probably played once before. If you say so. Um, but they reached out and contacted me about starting uh, Lost Mine of Fandelver and I said okay sure I'm running it for middle schoolers I can probably run it for some guys in their 20s and 30s. Okay. So they came over and we had a three hour session. Um, they really got into it. They really enjoyed it. It was really fun. They, they, it was a good crew. It was a good crew and they, they got into the role playing of it after a little bit. They were still feeling it out, but they were willing to give it a try and not like be weird about it. They just kind of like, okay, let's see how it goes. And afterwards they're like, when can we do it again? And I was like, yes. That's great. That's great. So we're working on scheduling our next one. Um, while, Emma was doing that first time at D&D Players. I went to Hex and & Co. Newbies. And I ran demo games for people that were interested, curious, looking at Star Wars Legion. How did it go? It went well. I ran, how many games did I run? I ran three games That's in great. four hours. That's very fast. Um, it was fantastic. We had a lot of new faces interested in playing. Mm -hmm. The last game that I ran was against a father and son, and the uh, the son was, I'm gonna say, eight years old. Okay. Uh, and it was great. So I was like, okay, so what do you want to be? And he was like, I don't know what I want to be. And I was like, well, you should take the the rebels. Like you have Luke, because he was talking about Luke while watching the uh -huh. game. And he was like, great. And I was like, Dad, this is the perfect opportunity that during the game, you need to say, Luke, I am your father. Yeah. The dad really appreciated yeah, that. That's pretty fantastic. The son, fantastic. maybe not so much. But it was okay. a good game. It was a good game. He was adamant of not buying this because he would then have to justify to his wife. Welcome to having small children. It is I very don't true. Know. I don't know um, what that means. The other thing regarding Star Wars Legion, mm -hmm. a few oh, of you have yeah. commented on our last unboxing uh, a fair amount have not received the right handlebar yeah. on the ATRT. You're not alone. So when Eric realized that it was missing, we had a panic moment in our house and he thought he had somehow dropped it on the floor. He was like, I was so careful laying everything out. I like put down a sheet so that I could see everything. Mm -hmm. so nothing a white lost. sheet, a white and, like, sheet. We were looking all over the floor. We looked in all the boxes. We couldn't find it. And so he was like, I, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. And then come to find out that there's actually a, a quite a few people. It's a bigger who, issue. One one kid. Has anybody one, said anything to uh, Fantasy Flight about it yet? I mean, I've written to Fantasy Flight. Oh, I'm sure other people them, okay. are. Um, one kid who purchased his box while I was demoing on on Sunday also was missing a right handlebar, what? but he received two extra stormtroopers, which were really weird. But there was okay. no base for them. Oh right. So there's some wonkiness there's some going wonkiness. on. Okay. Fantasy Flight has not written back to me regarding the right handle. Their bar. PR people are having a panic attack. Right well, now. well, this isn't what you want. You release no, a brand new when game, it, when, and especially one that has, is a big enough name like Star Wars. You want it to go really smoothly, and 
doesn't have anything to do with the PR people. The right word now. that I'm hearing out there is, you know, I gave it a 7.5. Um, and what a lot of people are saying is, and I agree, it's an okay game. It's a decent game. But if it wasn't Star Wars, they probably wouldn't get into it. Correct. I mean, I, I think, totally I think feel the same really way. the draw is probably the Star Wars aspect, right. which was the part that I found interesting when I played, and I don't like war games, so that's why I gave it the score that I gave it. But it's also good to know that other people are missing right handlebars. There should be a, a club they should or be. A, a group, should we, support group do we for call, each other. Right, right, the uh, right handlebar group. That's not very original. You should work on that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of it. We're not actually going to D&D &D Wednesday night. We oh. are going to see Ready Player One, which Eric is literally over the moon about. Um, I don't know. I think you're using literally incorrectly. Because if I, I were to actually, go over the moon, unless I had a space He's figuratively you know, over the moon. That's much better. Uh, because Ready Player One is one of his favorite books of all time. That is true. It might be top three. Wow, that's a strong statement. I'm not a big reader, so that would. Eric make doesn't sense. read, so. I mean, I know how to read. I feel like every time we talk about books, you say that in a way like. No, but I mean like. Eric can't read. No, no, no. I just it's mean a problem. That. Like Run Dog Run, which I believe is in my top three. <clears throat> Run Dog Run is one of my favorite no. books. No, one of your favorite books is where where the wild things are. Yeah, it really is. And and it's Go Dog Go, by the way. I couldn't read that part, that's why. <laughs> Go Dog All Go right. is a great book. All right. It's a fantastic book. Because so they were in, you know, like like the old timey race cars. Right. What? Is this so too much? I think on that note, we're going to wrap it up for today. Are we really guys. wrapping it yes, up? Yes, we are. There was um, nothing else going on? <laughs> At this point, I think no, going you should on. go read. We're on break next week. We're Thursday's the last day. Yeah. So tomorrow, if you're watching this on Friday yeah, the 28th, okay. yeah. Thursday the 28th, yeah. we're going on vacation. Are you doing <laughs> we're anything? We're literally derailing now, guys. We're totally. It's like, you know, go, go dog go. When he, did he go off the track? Did he end up in a tree at one point? I, I gotta read that book over. You should probably reread it. It might take you a while. Wait, can I just go once again, since we're completely off the rails, can I talk about one of my favorite books as a kid was? Sure. The Mr. and Mrs. books. Oh, the little square ones? Yeah. Oh, the Little Miss and Little Mr.? Were they called Little? Mm-hmm. But it was like Mr. Happy, Mr. Yeah. Grumpy, Mrs. What did yeah. your Mrs. do? Mrs. Sunshine? It's been a very long time since I've read They were fantastic books. They were great books. I still would like like to have those books. Okay. They're good to, good really to know. Easy words. <laughs> <laughs> now you're making it seem like you can't read, dear. I, I had nothing to do with that, by the way. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't insinuate, I didn't try to make you feel bad, I just said that Ready Player One is one of your favorite books. And it's then you book. like took it that many steps And Will further. Wheaton does the audiobook. He does. Eric's listening to the, the audiobook while he d paints miniatures. I gotta finish it tomorrow. Uh, so anyway, I think that's gonna be it Get back on track. for us <laughs> uh, today, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and support us on Patreon. Uh, and How about, should they comment? Yes, if you want to recommend comment. some books that I would like to read. Yes. Know that Tell the, the, books he should try. the foundation that I'm working off of are the Little Miss, Mr. and Mrs. books. They're fan fantastic books. The colors are great. And, ru ru <laughs> and the not, shapes. It's not Run Dog Run. It's, what is it? I think it's Go Dog Go. go do it is definitely Go Dog Go. And I'm forgetting the author now, but I can picture the cover. You know what the head. least favorite book that I, had, that I ever read was? What? The Giving Tree. It's just sad. No, because the tree is a jerk. Well, it's sad. No, the tree is a jerk. That is the biggest jerk tree I've ever heard in my life. But like Emma said, we've gone off the rails. So with that, we will say goodnight. Hope you had a great day, and we'll talk to you next time. <laughs> Bye, guys.